All right, Space Voyagers, we are now heading into the prime time territory. You ready? This one steals the show, and not just for the science, but for our collective imagination. I want you to meet Kepler-186f, the first Earth-sized planet ever discovered in the habitable zone of another star. So cue the applause and UFO emojis. So let's break down why Kepler-186f is the Kepler superstar. And we can start with the radius. It's barely bigger, but yet enough to be Earth-like. Its orbital period is around 130 days, and it's much closer than Earth, but around a dimmer sun. The temperature is negative 85 degrees Celsius, but with a greenhouse effect, it could warm above freezing. So it's not just bigger, it's the right size to maintain rock, plate tectonics, and a stable climate. Now, Kepler-186f sits in the Goldilocks zone, so it's not too hot, it's not too cold, but this cozy place comes with some caveats. One of those caveats being it orbits an M1-type red dwarf, so a star about half as massive as our sun and roughly 4 billion years old. Now, red dwarfs can be flare happy early on, blasting UV radiation that can strip atmospheres, especially tricky if the planet is tidally locked with no magnetic shielding. But many are calmer in later life, and models show an atmosphere. So yeah, it's plausible that liquid water and Earth-like conditions could exist if the planet has managed to hold onto its atmosphere. Next up is earthiness. There is a 50% chance its side is permanently turned towards its star but atmospheric modeling suggests that weather systems and winds could redistribute heat, you know, thanks to the circulation. So why are we obsessed with this planet? It's Earth size, in the habitable zone, potentially Earth-like. This is exoplanet fame. 